manipulation insert. The insert statement inserts a row into a table. We can use insert statement when an insert clause when we want to add a new record. The statement below enters a record for Justin Bieber in the celebrities table. So add a row to the table in the code editor below. The type insert into celebs ID, name, age. The values will be 1. Justin Bieber will be the name. 22. Look at the database scheme, schema. How many rows are in the celebs table? Three. Oh, sorry, one. No, I name one row. Name ID name. No. ID name and age. One row. I had three more slides to the beneath the previous insert statement. So we'll just copy and paste that into the oh, excuse the French, but I'll we'll just copy and paste that and see the time all right. Control C Control V. Remember your semicolon, 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 and my semicolon. And then we'll run. Yabba dabba do. Look at the database schema. How many rows are in the celebs table now? Four rows. And you see what's in these rows we need to do. Select all columns from the celebs table semicolon run so there's your four rows one two three four right so select is a clause select statements are used to fetch data from a database in the statement below select returns all the data in the name column of the celebs table so select name which is celebs no select ah they just want the name column this time they don't want it all so select is a clause that indicates that the sta statement is a query you'll use select every time you query from a database name specifies the column to the query data from from celebs specifies the name of the table to query the data from in this instance in this in this statement data is queried from the celebs table you also query data from all columns in the table with select so select all columns from celebrities. Star is a special wildcard that we have you been using. It allows you to select every column in the table without having to name each one individually. Here the result contains every column in the celebs table. Select statements always returns a new table uh, a new table called the result set. Let's take a closer look at select clause and retrieve the name in the celebs table in the code editor. So We'll do select name, which is here. No, sorry, here. Name. So it should just give you all the names. So select name from celebs, semicolon. And there you go. So you get all the names. And that's how you get in the. So if I wanted to select all the columns, let's use the difference. Select all columns from the celebs table, semicolon, run, that's the difference. So that's the full table and that's just the name column. Or we can go to study age, we can select, the sorry, study name, we can select age, that's all the ages, or we can select ID. And that's all the IDs. So all the IDs, all the names sorted. That's an error. Delete your previous select statement from the code editor. Select all the data in the celebs table and enter the following. 